Hi, it's April 11th, 2016, and I've had my Cadillac ELR since March of 2014. And today, I had a very pleasant surprise. I was actually within a couple of feet of another Cadillac ELR. That was the exact same color as mine, however, it was a different year. Now, this is a video that I shot of my ELR a couple of years ago and I was doing a walk around while I talked while I talked about the car and uh, one of the things I want to point out first of all the difference the biggest difference that I noticed between the ELR that I saw while I was driving and my ELR is the the front front end the front emblem on the car the difference between the emblem on my car and the one on the ELR that I saw is the ELR that passed me on the highway had a larger Cadillac, Cadillac emblem without that was not surrounded by a wreath. My emblem is surrounded by a wreath, as you can see. The overall emblem was approximately the whole, the entire logo was about the same size as mine. However, it did not have the wreath uh, surrounding the the Cadillac shield. That's how I could tell it was a different year, my year, different year, ELR. And like I said, it was a very pleasant surprise. It was a good surprise. But now I and now I know that I'm not the only Cadillac ELR in the North Charlotte, North Carolina area. I've never ever seen another ELR on the road since I've owned mine, I've, and I've had mine for two years now. But today was a good surprise to see another that somebody else is enjo enjoying the the comfort and the efficiency of a Cadillac ELR. And speaking of efficiency of the ELR, my lifetime miles per gallon on my, on my vehicle is now up to 88.9. Lifetime, since I've owned a car, the total mile, the total fuel efficiency on the car is 88.9. And all of that belongs to me because I am the only registered owner of this vehicle so far. Now today you see I average 188 miles per gallon because during my 40.3 mile trip or driving session, I used, for a portion of that, I used the generator. I used the gasoline, gen the gasoline power generator to generate some electricity. I didn't have to use it all of those six miles. For 6.1 miles, you see I used it for, I used it to generate electricity for 6.1 miles. I didn't have to use it for all six miles, but I just wanted, I just didn't want my power supply to go below a certain level. I like to monitor that kind of stuff as I drive. And the good thing about the ELR is, the reason it's called an extended range electric vehicle is because once the power supply has electricity in it, once it's charged to a, re a usable level, the range that the car can travel without the generator or the engine running is extended by the fact that you run the generator. Once I run the generator, I start my generator in extend go into extended range mode I'll call it extended range mode but on the on the driver information center it tells me it, it shows it as mountain mode I don't know why it's called mountain mode but it shows up as mountain mode mountain mode is the mode that does two things simultaneously it allows the car it allows the user to keep driving the car and it adds to the state of charge of the power supply at the same time which will, after, once I get comfortable with the state of charge, will allow me to once again drive without the generator running. So I don't have to stop in order to recharge the power supply. I recharge my power supply by running the generator or the gas engine while I keep on driving. See, some, car, some electric vehicles do not have their own generator like the ELR does or the Chevy Volt does. There are other vehicles that are 
that are electric that are electric vehicles that must you must stop in order to charge charge them in order to add in any power to the power supply that is not true with the ELR or the extended range electric vehicle manufactured by Cadillac and that adds to the convenience of owning owning an electric car as well so you don't have I don't have to interrupt what I'm doing or stop what I'm doing or take a long ex extremely long break if I'm driving long distance um, out of state or to the other side of the country for example I don't have to add to that to that lengthy trip by stopping to charge my car I can charge my car while I keep on driving by starting the generator and running the generator in extending range mode or mountain mode as it's called and that just adds to the total convenience of, of having 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 an electric vehicle it's absolutely great I love it hi the cyber knife is a tool that will allow us men to defeat prostate cancer without surgery no pain no surgery and no damage to your male functionality the cyber knife cured my prostate cancer in 2007 and I encourage all men to fight like Spartans Spartans have a saying no surrender no retreat a Spartan never surrenders a Spartan does not retreat now you notice the color of this ribbon is the crimson color of a Spartan if you're familiar with the crimson color of a Spartan you may have seen the movie 300 I would challenge everyone man woman or child doesn't matter to wear the crimson color of a Spartan to show their awareness of the cyber knife now the cyber knife can and does cure prostate cancer it cured my cancer in 2007 without surgery I had had to go through 45 minutes of treatment for five days in a row on my way to work on a given day on a given week and it was absolutely painless and it, and it caused zero interruption between the relationship between my wife and I so the cyber knife to sum it up in a nutshell the cyber knife is an absolutely glorious tool that can cure and kill and defeat prostate cancer without pain without surgery without side effects and if you go to cyberknife.com and use the search feature in their website you can it will allow you to enter in your your uh, zip code and based on your zip code it will tell you the hospital that has a cyber knife facility that is closest to you